Visiboard Wodonga is a manufacturer of cardboard boxes essentially. Um, we're one of 10 plants in Australia, producing about 75,000 tonne of cartons into industry, servicing about 790 odd customers. We basically take reels of paper. Visi is a, is a fully integrated company, vertically integrated company. We recycle, we manufacture our own paper, and at this site we take that paper and make it into a fibre box. So we roughly process about 350 tonne a day. That basically goes through a corrugator, which essentially joins three papers together with a flute to the middle, which is our structural component of our process. And then we take that box and we value add. So we take that cardboard and we will either print it up with up to about six colours, depending on the customer's requirements. We cut it into a shape that suits the customer's process for packaging of, of goods. Um, and we'll also glue cartons together for customers' processes. So we essentially run three main lines of processes, corrugating, die cutting as we call it, and gluing or flexo-folded gluing. So we have two shifts at Visi, um, a Visi board and longer, uh, red shift and blue shift. So my position is red shift shift manager. This role includes the day-to-day -day running of uh, Redshift, uh, which includes about 44 guys. The team here is about 190 people, made up of different skill sets in terms of its componentry. We run what we call different skills, so you've got your entry-level skill out on the shop floor, um, which is basically a person who's starting to learn our process. You've also got your assistant level, which is now is your skilled level. So that's a person that can actually run the machine as well as assist, as we call it, help with setups and the like, all the way through to an operator. And an operator is our, our, our top line skill. That's a person who's deemed appropriate in terms of being able to run machinery, very responsible in terms of uh, quality outcomes, safety outcomes, and productivity outcomes out on the shop floor. There's obviously a supervisory level as well, um, and then through to a, a salaried level. And that salaried level is made up of middle tier management who help us bring in new work, as we call it, administration, dispatch in terms of administration and dispatch, quality assurance, continuous improvement, as well as productivity staff, shift management, and engineering. I like my job because the diversity, the different things you can do day to day. Uh, you've got 44 different people you're dealing with, different personalities, plus there's many different things you work on, projects and the likes with different areas, maintenance, technical team. I've worked at a factory all my working life and, and the careers and opportunities are, are amazing. Um, I, I think getting into a plant initially can be seen as, as bottom of the run and it's not the case. The development thrown. The, the technical understanding required is, is immense. Working in a factory is more than just what people think. It's not sitting on a line, pressing the same button day in, day out. The roles are varied. We ask, we ask our guys to innovate. Uh, they do innovate and, uh, and if they want, they drive their own careers. It's not just a, a, a four walls and ignore it. It's a, it's a real career opportunity. It's a good place to work. I've gone from being a process worker to an operator of a machine, I've come in um, and worked in office roles, backup customer service manager and now to shift manager. Also along the way we've, I've got the uh, certificate for and frontline management through Visi. Um, we're currently just about to start a printing apprenticeship and then um, in the future you're going to be doing uh, diploma in management. Maybe this could be your, um, your productivity chart. We try to drive careers through our business and when I say that we try to develop someone who may come in very green, um, not a lot of skills and try to develop them through. So we've got some really good examples of that. My, my factory manager at this site as an example is, is a guy that was an operator on a machine, started off stacking boxes and worked his way through. I'm happy to sort of do anything as long as I'm progressing forward and obviously earning more money. In terms of developing our people, um, we've always valued people as driving our outcome. If our people are succeeding, then obviously the business is succeeding. But there's a lot of training matrices, training plans, um, it's, it's been a long term fact that Visi promote from within, so a lot of people who are senior managers now have come from, from the floor, so it's, it's acknowledging who the people are going to be who can progress in the company and what we can do to get them to take the next step. The one thing that, that I'm very proud of in terms of working for Visi is that it is a very large business, it's 133 individual sites across Australia with over 6,000 employees. The benefit in working for such, such a large business is the scope for growth. There's always an avenue in terms of career development. There's always an avenue in terms of process development. Um, the business does spend a lot of money on developing managers and, and individuals within the business to succession plan to end up in a different role. Um, the ability to move between states and even into the USA and Singapore, which is where we operate as well, 
is obviously available to us. But all, all done under the proviso that we obviously work for a family and we work for the Pratts. Um, it is a family business and it is valued as a family business. Big business, but, but managed by an owner who will walk through our business once every six weeks and, and say good day.